What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to hit inside pitches like a pro. Check out these clips. If you wanna be able to do this, stick around to the end of this video. All right, so the number one technique that I can give you, I actually noticed by accident while playing against the computer. I was doing that conquest where you kind of play against the computer, three different games, and you can get those five packs. And I was up by like seven runs. And I decided to put my camera view into retro mode. Now, I usually only use strike zone for my camera view, but I threw it in retro mode. We were up by seven runs, and I kind of wanted to see some of the different players on my team and what their swing looks like. Anyways, you can kind of see Trout in the set position here before the pitch starts. He's just in his base position, and then his animation starts when he lifts his front foot. That is super, super, super important because once the animation starts, it basically opens up their swing window, for lack of a better term. And you can kind of see this out of the, the corner of your eye when you're in the strike zone view, and that's when you need to be ready to hit the button. Right as they start that animation for their swing is when you need to be like ready to hit the button because that is as early as you can possibly hit the button. So once you kind of know that, you're gonna be able to swing a lot earlier and you're, get, you're gonna get the timing down a lot more because now you're not trying to really catch the ball with the PCI, you're just getting ready to swing and that's when you can hit the button. So it's like I can just hit the button and pull the ball and all I'm looking for is that key of when he starts to swing. When does he start that animation? Right as he starts that animation, like I'm ready to roll, I'm ready to hit the ball. So that is the main key here, is you just need to be ready for them to start to swing. And I was just late on that one. That's still going to happen from time to time. You're never going to be 100% perfect. Strive to be 100% perfect. But there's definitely times where I'm still late and that kind of stuff too because that's just how it is. It's a game. You're never going to be perfect. You just strive for that. So you just want to try that as much as you can. And you're going to start to be really, really early. You can just start your swing almost right as they start to move. And you will pull the ball and you will take away the inside half. Which is key because people are going to pitch you on the inside half. I'm going to come out with a video on you know pitch sequencing. This pitch sequencing that I like to use. And that is the number one thing that I want to see. Are they going to be very late when they're pitched to the inside? Are they too late when I throw inside sinkers? Because if they are, it's going to be very, very difficult for them to hit. And they're pretty much probably going to lose the game because they cannot take away the inside half. Now, also, I don't use the PCI uh, anchor or anything like that. I start in the middle so that I can react wherever I want to react. So I got a couple more tips in regards to that if you have some questions or I'm just gonna talk about it more. So if we're in strike zone, what I like to do is I like to just leave the PCI in the middle and I like to pick up the ball out of the pitcher's hands. I'm not looking at the actual PCI itself. I'm just looking at the ball and then I'm relying on my muscle memory to move the PCI to the ball. Now you could in theory go with no PCI or any PCI that you want. I do like to have a PCI on though so I can see, you know, how good is this pitcher? How much contact do I really have? But it still kind of stays out of the way, you know what I'm saying? So it's still like not in my frame of vision, but it gives me a little bit of information and I like to have it uh, being on as well. So I like to keep that on. But what you need to do is you need to watch the ball out of the pitcher's hand. And then the more that you practice, you're going to get your muscle memory down to those movements of where to move the PCI to the ball. So that that's one thing that's really, really important. If you pitch from the strike zone camera as well, you're just going to see the flight of the ball on different pitches more and more and more and more and more. It doesn't seem like it would help out that much, but it does. And what you're, your brain's going to do over time is your brain is just going to like be able to pick up the different paths of the ball. Like if it's straight for a fastball or you start to notice a bend in a slider, stuff like that. Your brain's just gonna pick up on those patterns and you're gonna be able to read the pitch faster and faster and faster. It's just a matter of practice when it comes to those things. Now, if you're trying to start your swing early, like you see the animation of them starting to load up and move their, you know, starting to get their swing going, the one place that they can pitch you right now is they can pitch you low and away with off speed because you're gonna be so much more out in front. But I would rather have to deal with that pitch than them just throwing a sinker low and inside 
and I can't hit it for anything, that's just not good. I mean, it's just, it's really, really bad. You pretty much have to rely on like a bloop hit and that's not what you want. You want to be hitting the ball hard. You're still going to have enough time to react the other way. But if there's one main tip that I can give you, right as you see that swing start, you know, start you start to see that animation of their swing starting, that's when you can get ready to pull the trigger. You don't have to try to catch the ball with the PCI. You're going to be way too late that way. You have to just get ready to swing right as you start to see him like take that step and move. That's when you're ready to swing the bat. So if you want to, uh, you know, try this out, go ahead and try it out versus the computer. Try it out online. Uh, it should turn you into a beast. It kind of happened by accident, but it really, really helped me out. Now, two other things that can really help you out is also going and putting your controller into USB only for PlayStation 5. So like connect the USB to the controller and then set it so it's not Bluetooth, it's through USB. And the other thing that I highly recommend that you do, either go buy one of these or like, you know, most of mods, whatever you gotta do to get some cash, but go and get one of the monitors that has 120 Hertz because that's just gonna give you more frames and it's gonna help you out on these pitches as well. But even if you don't have that, just go off when they are starting their swing. I hope this helps out. Let me know if it does in the comments below. Follow me on your social media of choice. I'm always posting to all of them, YouTube, Twitch, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Whichever one that you like to use, go follow me on that if you would like to. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really, really hope it helps out. It's been great for me, so I've been wanting to tell more people about it because it feels so, so good. It's like the best feeling to take away the inside half of the plate. So anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, peace out.